John, the big news first. Just to, we're just talking about it there, just to confirm that the option has been triggered. So we're, you're stuck. We're stuck with you. You're here again. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I got the option. Yeah, it's been triggered and sort of signed that. And hopefully, going forward, maybe it's something longer. Obviously, to see over the next few weeks what what happens. But you know, I'm delighted to be here. Still, obviously, going into League One next season. It's your club, isn't it? We said this just a couple of weeks ago. This is your club. You love being here. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's been a long time now, and obviously extending it and. But I love it, like I say, I feel like it's definitely a part of us now and, you know, I'm part of the club and it's been a long time, but I've enjoyed it and obviously Sunday is why, why we've all done it. You've been on some journey with the club and then you've just mentioned it, to, to get to Sunday is, is the end of the journey so far, what an ending so far. Yeah, it's been a bit of a mad journey, obviously I've come in, you know, as a, as a centre-half, I've made my way up the pitch and back down, obviously there's been goals, there's been ups and downs, but that, like I say, Sunday has made everything worth it, all the travelling all the sacrifice and everything and that's why we've done it and finally got a goal in the end. When you, your family, your friends are all invested in a club as much as you are, what does it mean to achieve something like Sunday? Oh, it means everything, obviously I think on Sunday I had about 15 people there, you know, friends, family, my girlfriend, my son, like, that was the main thing, you know, looking up, seeing them was just a mad feeling, I keep trying to go back to it, back to it, it still doesn't feel real but I appreciate all the support and you know, they're always there for us and travelling as much as I do and I appreciate it. Has it sunk in yet that Wembley was Wembley, but the fact is it's League One football next season? I don't know yet. Um, I think this morning it was starting now, but I sort of look back on pictures again I think it's not real. Like, it's, it's just crazy, to be honest. I don't think it probably won't settle until I come back in for pre-season and you know, preparing for League One. And I think that's when I'll really realise what, what's happened. And there's some massive clubs there. This is a challenge. It's, it's, it's something that we're going to have to compete yet again, which I think everybody's confident that we will. Yeah, definitely. I think I was looking this morning at sort of all the teams in it because I've not looked properly yet, but there's definitely some big teams. I think it'll be a good challenge, but there's no reason we can't do something good again. Going back to Sunday, what was it like walking out, hearing the roar and getting ready for all of that preamble that goes before it, but getting ready for that kickoff? No, it was just incredible. It was a bit like numbing, to be honest. A bit of it, so like, just taking it all in. You're not sure how to feel and... I said, I'll just try my best to just take it all in because you know it happened all so quick as well. You scored at Wembley. <laughs> yeah, our own goal, but you know, I'd, I'd take it to be fair. I meant the penalty. No, I didn't. You know what I meant. That was it. Was a horrible way to concede a goal, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And nothing I could do was it just it's happened. I think at first I seen it was went down. I his goal on the screen, so I was a bit relieved. Then I seen it change, and my head was gone a bit, but. I just had to get on with it and, you know, thankfully got through it in the end. And you do get on with it, John. That's something that the fans have really taken to. And it's, it's part of that, that suspension that you had, not even going to mention it, but you're back and, and doing that on, on the big stage. Yeah, definitely. I think, obviously, the suspension, I just had to get past it. And, you know, I was hoping I'd get that chance again. And obviously, when really I did, and obviously didn't get after the best of starts and no goal. But, like I said, I just had to keep my head up still and just keep going and keep going. And, you know, in the end, we got there and we, we won. That's the main thing. Marzi got the goal, massive, 90 seconds before that. What on earth? I, know, I couldn't believe it. I, I seen it come back, I thought I got the whole goal. He had to get on target and he was scoring. I managed to kick it straight at him. So that's typical. And I thought, you know, whether it's handball or not, I don't know. It definitely hit his arm. But like I say, 90 seconds later, I was scored, so who cares? Waiting for the penalties. You're comfortable with that, aren't you? Yeah, I didn't really feel nervous. But I was quite excited to take one because I've been practicing all week. And to be honest, I don't have a method behind it myself. I just run up and kick this as hard as I can so I knew you know if I don't know what I'm doing the keeper definitely doesn't so just put my foot through it and enjoy it you've gone viral again for the uh, yes. not the celebration so much <laughs> as the you were getting a bit of stick weren't you so you give a little bit back that's what we do yeah it's just part of football it was nothing personal you know obviously they, it was on their side they are giving it a bit so I thought I'd give it a bit back and it's part of it I love that side of the game as well when Taylor put the ball into the net what does that feel like? I couldn't even tell you that feeling it's just mental I think I went straight at the floor and I just didn't even know what to do with myself. But like I said, if I could bottle up that feeling, and it's just unbelievable that you can't even describe it. And that's what we've all worked for, and that's what we want, and we've got it. I'm sure you've seen Sydney footage of 1966 when the England team was walking up them same steps. It might have been the old Wembley, it doesn't matter, it's the same place. What's it like to do that in front of your family, but 15,000 Carlo fans? It was hard after 120 minutes. My calves and my hamstrings were in bits. I, was, I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. But you know, once you're at the top and you see that trophy, it was just unbelievable and getting your hands on it and, and the medal as well. It was just, you can't beat it. Do you remember it? Is it true that actually once you get through it and you're sat here now, it's like, did that happen? No, I still don't believe it happened sometimes. Cause I'm just sitting here and like, it just all happened so quick. There was such a build-up to it and then it's just gone and we've won. And now it's just about looking on the next season in League One and what we can do 
going forward. A couple of weeks off, it won't even be that because you're going to have to start on a programme because we are back in four weeks and then it's real, isn't it? It's then, right, this is now League One. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a quick turn. I go on holiday Saturday, so by the time I'm back from that, I'll be straight back to running again and get myself fit. But I'm excited for it. I think it'll be nice, quite a quick turn on and getting straight back to it. And you know, I think everyone's just excited for the new challenge. We've said this before, John, so many managers that you've been under already in your, your, your career here with Carlisle United, they all keep picking you, they all keep going for you, they all keep speaking highly of you. What's it done for your confidence? Oh, it's massive. I think for any player, I think having a, a manager that believes in you and you know, understands you and wants want you to play is the, the best feeling. It gives you plenty of confidence. So, you know, I'm very thankful that the gaffer you know, has faith in us and keeps picking us. Finally, we're going to set any targets for next season? Oh, I don't know. I can't even <laughs> think that far. Just, like I say, just, just play it, to be honest. You know, and just enjoy it. It's League One, somewhere I thought personally I would never, ever get to. So, to just have that, that chance, I'm just going to enjoy it. Always a pleasure. Thank you for this season.